Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris and the word that I have for you today is a beautiful word. The Lord is saying that your gates are opened. Before we get to the word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. This word is going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. That whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you are saying in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. There are several scriptures that the Lord gave me as it relates to this word. And the first one is in the book of First Chronicles, chapter 9, verses 23 and 24. And this is what it says. So they and their children were in charge of the gates of the house of the Lord, the house of the tabernacle by assignment. The gatekeepers were assigned to the four directions, the east, the west, the north, and south isaiah 60 verses 11 it says therefore your gates shall continually be opened they shall not be shut day or night that men may bring to you the wealth of the gentiles and their kings in procession isaiah 45 verses 2 it says i will go before you and make the crooked places straight i will break in pieces the gates of brass and carry in sunder the bars of iron the last passage of scripture is in in it is in psalms 107 verses 16 and this is what it says for he has broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in two the lord sent me to come and tell you that your gates shall continually be opened they shall not be shut day or night and now you're gonna be the gatekeeper of your gates 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 are very important especially in the spiritual realm and gates represents gates represent several things in the spiritual realm and i'm gonna break it down even as we go along as i give the word that the lord put in my spirit to come and share with you gates represents a place of authority and god has given you authority over your gates you see there was a strong man that was assigned at your gates there was a strong man that was positioned at your gates to make sure that nothing walked through your gates to make sure that nothing walked out through your gates they were there to make sure that your blessings never made it through your gates. They were there to make sure that you never got delivered out of that situation. Whatever is bound on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever is loose on earth is loose in heaven. That is what the word of the Lord says. And the Lord is saying to you that the strong man that was assigned at your gates, the strong man that was assigned, that was positioned at your gates is now bound, is now bound. And you are now the gatekeeper of your gates. Your gates shall continually be opened. They shall not be shut shut day nor night you see since the month of september the lord has been ministering to me about opening opening doors then the lord is saying that he has opened doors in your life that no man can shut and now he is opening up the gates the gates that the enemy padlocked in your life the gates that the enemy chained up in your life he is breaking in pieces the gates of bronze in your life he is cutting in half the iron bars and making Men, men are going to bring in the wealth of the hidden because your gates are now open and your gates are going to be open continually. They are not going to be shut day or night. The kings... You see, the, the kings are in procession. The Lord is saying that the kings are in procession, walking through your gates. God is going to sit you with kings. God is going to sit you with princesses. Your gates shall continually be opened. They shall not be shut day or night. Your time to receive that which is yours is now. Your blessings cannot be locked out anymore. Your blessings cannot be withheld outside your gates anymore. You see, it is at the gates where elders will sit. It is at the gates where elders were stationed. We see this in the book of Ruth. 
negotiations were made at the gate. Your marital gate is open for some of you. Your marital gate has been shut for generations. It goes back in your bloodline, generations back. You have been plagued with the curse of anti-marriage. You have been plagued with the curse of bad marriages because there is a strong man that was assigned at the gate of your marital destiny. There is a strong man that was positioned at the gate of your marital destiny and that strong man was there to make sure that no negotiations were made at your gate. He was there to make sure that elders don't meet to make negotiation for your marriage. The devil is a liar. That gate is now open. The gate to your marriage shall be open continually. It shall not be shut day or night and you're gonna walk out your marital destiny. It is at the gates. It is at the gates where the kings and the prophets made decrees. Decrees are made at the gates. And we see this in the book of Esther. A man shall decree a thing and it shall be established. That is what the word of the Lord says. And now you are in charge of your gates. That which you decree, that which you're gonna declare, that which you're gonna proclaim is gonna be backed up with heaven and stamped with the king's seal. Your gates shall continually be opened. They shall not be shut day or night. It is at the gates where judicial matters was settled. It is at the gates where judicial matters were done. There is a word that I released some time back. I think it was titled, Justice is Served. At the gates is where the courts of heavens pass judgment. That justice that has been so elusive, that justice that you have been seeking is walking through your gates. The enemy cannot lock out that justice anymore. The enemy cannot keep out justice from you anymore. The Lord has broken the gates of brass and he has scattered in pieces the iron bars. Your gates shall continually be opened. They shall not be shut day or night. That is what the Lord sent me to come and tell you. It is at the gates where the counsel of God was made known. The book of Isaiah says that the counsel it is only the counsel of God that shall stand. The counsel of man concerning your life, the counsel of men concerning your destiny shall come to nothing. The counsel of witches and warlocks, the counsel of diviners and enchanters concerning your life, concerning your destiny shall come to nothing. They congregated at your gates and they swore that no blessing shall walk through that gate. Their counsel shall come to nothing. They shall be put to shame because your gates are now opened and they shall continually be opened. They shall not be shut day or night. The Lord is saying to you that your gates are now open. The dormitories are walking through your gates. The camels are walking through your gates. Remember the camels of Isaac. Catch the revelation. Camels are walking through your gates. Your gates shall continually be opened. They shall not be shut day or night. It is only the counsel of God that shall stand at your gates. At the gates is where vigilance is carried out. And the Lord says that vigilance is mine. The Lord is going to execute vengeance on your behalf at your gate. You see your enemies congregated at the gate and little did they know that God executes judgment God executes his vengeance at the gates. They are going to be met with the vengeance of the Lord at the gates. They had no idea. They congregated at the long at the wrong place. Your gates are opened and your gates are going to be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night. That is what the Lord sent me to come and tell you. The Lord is saying to you that your gates shall be opened. It is at the gates. It is at the gates where the Lord counsel is made manifest in your life. You see, the Lord just reminded me of a dream, of a dream that I had some time back concerning gates. And I'm going to stop here.
but I will continue. I have to check out those dreams and share share the revelation that the Lord is downloading in my spirit. Even right now, I'm receiving revelation about those dreams. I have to check them out and share with you. I'm going to continue with this word in my next video. Okay? So, watch out for my next video. Gates, gates are very important in the spiritual realm. Gates represent a lot of things in the spiritual realm. And the Lord is saying to you that your gates are open and your gates are going to be open continually. They are not going to be shut day or night. And that is what the, that is the word that the Lord sent me to come and tell you. And remember that your father loves you so much. He loves you with an everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is Christ Jesus in the love you too. I'm going to see you in my next video with the continuation of this word concerning your gifts. May the Lord bless you.